Good luck trying to get past Maddie O'Dell. She's Carroll College's freshman defender, and strikers should be aware. Scoring while she's in the back is no easy task. She was part of a Saints defense that shut out opponents in nine of their 17 games last fall. Whether it's soccer, other sports, or academics, Maddie O'Dell strives for perfection. Just wanted to be the best I could be, whether that be in athletics or academics or as a friend or social life based. I wanted to be a good kid. But it was her drive to be the best that made her come to Carroll College with a secret. I came into Carroll not wanting anybody to know. I kind of wanted to leave that back in high school, um, leave it behind, not have it affect me here, which is dumb because college is where most eating disorders kind of spark and come alive. Maddie O'Dell was diagnosed with bulimia in high school, but it all started before her freshman year. In middle school, we had a nutritionist come in uh, for the soccer team. I kind of twisted her words and saying, okay, well, if I want to be the best athlete, if I want to be the perfect athlete, I have to do this, X, Y, Z. And so I began limiting foods for my diet. But for O'Dell, it wasn't that she wanted to get skinny or that she wanted to lose weight. It was all about control. End of freshman year into sophomore year, definitely was growing in those bulimic tendencies to the point where I was so sick that I had to be hospitalized. Maddie's freshman year, it got so bad that she was purging two to five times a day. It was at the hospital where she learned more about bulimia and they described eating disorders to her using a hand analogy. They told her that she was one part of the hand and the eating disorder was the other part. When she was sick, the eating disorder would be in front and she would slowly fade to the back. But when she gained control, she would be in front and the disorder would be in the back. And just like having both hands, you don't really want to get rid of it. So the eating disorder is now not only part of her life, but she uses it as an advocate to create awareness to help others who may be suffering from eating disorders. Odell's selfless campaign has gotten her featured on TV, magazines, papers, and in online blogs. Although it was a very hard time in my life, like I think of it as a very, like a great opportunity now to help others. But perhaps the biggest way she conquered her disorder is when she was named to the NAIA All-American team, an honor she credits to her teammates, who also act as her support group in making sure she never has to feel like she has to resort back to any bulimic or anorexic tendencies. They talk about the Carroll family a lot and the Carroll soccer team is the definition of the Carroll family. If I ever need anything, they're going to be there for me no matter what, like 110 percent. Maddie arrived at Carroll intending to hide her fight with bulimia from her teammates, but now they play the biggest role in helping her kick the habit. Would you say this disorder, it's, it's a part of your life now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it always will be. Um, but I don't think I have to let it define me. In Helena, Derek Opina, ABC5 Sports. In Helena, Derek Opina, Fox 5 Sports. In Helena, Derek Opina, ABC Fox Montana Sports. In Helena, Derek Opina, 10 at 10 Sports.